Great. All right, I'm going to show you to create your own .exe file, so you can take this batch file or any other of your files into your own .ex file with your own icon. So you're going to need WinRAR and Resource Hacker. WinRAR creates the .exe file, and Resource Hacker changes the icon. Changes the icon. So most computers have WinRAR. So if you don't download it, it's free. Resource Hacker is free. All right. So once you have that and everything, right-click your file or files and hit Add to Archive. My computer is slow when I'm using a screen recorder, so bear with me. But once this pops up in a few seconds, you're gonna click an option, Create SFX Archive. There it is. Create SFX Archive. And there you have your .exe file, but you're not done yet. Go to Advanced, Tab, and SFX Options. Path to Extract means where your file is going to go when you click your .exe file. So I'm just going to create it in this folder. Run after extraction means if you hit your .exe file, is my lol.bat file going to just go in the folder and do nothing or is it going to start up as soon as I click my exe file and you want that most of you are going to want that so lol.bat go over to modes and hit hide all or don't don't hit display all or hide start dialog you'll see why if you do that but you don't alright so you're done with this this is going to create your .exe file but you're going to want your own icon. So here's where Resource Hacker comes in. There's my exe file. It's going to, there's, that's a pretty ugly icon. So I'm just going to delete this quick since I don't need it anymore. Alright. So I'm going to open up Resource Hacker. Give it a little bit. There you go. It's starting to come up. All right. Minimize this, and just drag in my .exe file. You can do this with other ones, other .exe files, but we're just gonna do it with the one we made. Open up any number. It can be any number. It doesn't matter, as long as it's under icon. Yeah click your file or click 1049 and hit replace resource right click it alright open file with new icon now you can either make your own icon with paint and whatever if you save it as dot ico when you save it or you can get your own icon from iconpedia which has like thousands of different icons that are really cool or there's different websites where you can get your other icons but they have to be in dot my voice cracked there sorry dot ico format alright so here's my file I got from iconpedia open that up just wait for that oops I hit cancel alright open now this looks blurry here but it'll be good when you save it alright so there's my icon save it it's going to create a copy of your original file in case you screwed it up go over to our file lol.exe is not changed yet because you have to refresh the folder or just X out of it and go back into it which I'm going to do I'm just going to delete the original file because I don't want that anymore. Alright, so X out of this. And let's go over to my desktop. Alright, now, there we go. And there we go, there's your own custom .exe file. As soon as I click it, it's going to pop up but that'll take forever since I'm using a screen recorder so there you go is your own .exe file it's really simple and have fun